So we do have uh, a little new business. Mr. Salters, you want to uh, talk about this just a little bit? Yes, Dr. Little, I'll be, uh, be glad to talk about it. We have a policy for you this evening. It's a little unique situation. Um, and uh, this is a policy uh, that the School Boards Association does not have any codification for yet, so I don't have a number for you. So TBD is not the policy number. It is to be determined. Um, as we work with uh, the School Boards Association uh, to get numbers for this policy, um, <clears throat> and I left a, uh, a little uh, handout at your, at your place in the, uh, at the boardroom there. Um, and this is a, a kind of a, uh, a cheat sheet, if you will, for SEC Rule 15C2-12. Um, and this is a continuing disclosure uh, rule that um, has, has recently been enacted. Um, and really, in our summary and through the, in, in the policy, uh, going back to February of, of this year, the SEC um, uh, did an amendment to this rule, and it's really related to continuing disclosure um, around our, our financial obligations um, as they relate to our bond uh, sales and um, potential investors in the, in the school district. And so um, this is a policy for first reading tonight. Um, we, uh, in our bond sale, we had a, an investor um, and other potential investors ask if we had the policy um, in our, you know, in our system. Um, and so it's been recommended by our bond council that we add this policy to our um, existing policies that we have related to bonds and, and our investments uh, so that it, it would show our commitment to our investors uh, that we are um, interested in supporting uh, ongoing disclosure of our financial obligations. And this new ruling really references any additional uh, financial obligations that we may incur. Um, you know, things like a, a, a lease or uh, for a computer lease or something like that, we would, we would need to disclose that um, if we were to enter into something like that, potentially with, with investors. And the, um, there's a website uh, that's kind of a clearinghouse, the EMA um, website that all of this information gets posted to. Um, I mentioned uh, Deborah taking over some of that, those duties uh, from Dina, and that's uh, part of what she does is make sure all these disclosures are, are kept current, <clears throat> current, but we also, you know, we have to release our CAFR every year to these folks. Um, and so <clears throat> this, uh, this rule and policy just really um, solidify our commitment to doing that work. So um, as you review it, I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have um, related to it, and we, we would ask for action next month um, at, the, at the board meeting. Any questions I can help you with tonight? Board, any questions or comments for Jeff on that one? Okay, so I guess it'll be codified, codified next month. Oh, Kyle. Dr. Guyton, did you have a question? Well, I, I was just curious <clears throat> if this, does this put a, additional burden on the departments or, or anything like that? Because I had seen, you know, in, in one of the, the examples on the policy, like the uh, to deliver to the chief operations officer a detailed list of all existing financial obligations of the issuer, la da 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 da. So are these things that are already at hand, easily accessible, does not, you know, add a burdensome amount of, of work and such, or, or so, so what does this change for us? That, that's a great observation. And, and so um, one of the things that it, it does is it, it really puts a focus on, um, and, 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 you know, John Stevens is here, our contract person, it really puts a focus on things that we engage um, and, and create liabilities for at our school level. So if a, if a school were to happen to um, enter into some contract that would create some significant liability uh, for the district, it, it's their responsibility to report that uh, and us to track that and then us to, um, you know, report that out on, uh, onto the uh, EMA site. Um, we have a really good process um, that our schools follow, and every contract is vetted and, and then, um, you know, ultimately signed by me. But um, so I don't know that that really would increase the burden. Um, one of the things really is, this, I mean, this is a compliance thing that we, you know, the business that we're in with all the, um, the bonds that we, we work with is something we, we pretty much have to do. Uh, the expectation is there. Um, for our investors uh, to, to comply with these um, 
continuing disclosure. So, um, you know, it, it is a burden to keep up with the work. Um, and, and I appreciate, uh, you know, Deborah would, would say that it's a burden because there's, you know, you, you have to keep books and documentation and so forth. Um, but the expectation is that you do that anyway when you're dealing with these kinds of things. So um, I don't think it's a really big um, change um, to what we already do. Um, it just formalizes it in policy. Um, and, and then the amendment to the rule just stipulates any additional financial um, obligations that we incur we have to, um, you know, we have to disclose. And I, I assume the parallel to this would be like the 900 disclosures I get from my insurance company throughout the year about, you know, them selling my information for social media. Right. It's a similar, it's just an ongoing right. disclosure that occurs. Right. Okay. And, the, you know, in this, um, I call it the cheat sheet. It, it's really good. I think it's, uh, well, it's on the second page. Um, there, there's a list of... Um, kind of actions that that would warrant uh, an additional disclosure um, so it's not like we're every day having to hey we signed this contract hey we did this hey we did that um, uh, you know it's 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 a pretty rare occurrence where you'd have to you know do an additional disclosure but but there is a good cheat sheet there about when you know when you might have to do that so it's probably not as bad as your 900 insurance disclosures but similar concept gotcha. any other questions board 